T shaped plate and its position of center of mass. According to numerical number 10, find the position of center of mass of the T shaped plate from the origin O. Numerical number 10 of the chapter center of mass. O is the highest point of the T shaped plate and O1 is the center of mass of the horizontal portion horizontal portion of T shaped plate. Now we can denote the center of mass of the vertical portion of uh, the T shaped plate. O2 is the center of mass of the remaining portion of the T shaped plate. We can denote the length of the horizontal portion of T shaped plate. 2 meter is the length of the horizontal portion of T-shaped plate and breadth of the T-shaped plate or horizontal portion of the T-shaped plate is 3 meter plus 3 meter and 2 meter. That means uh, uh, breadth of the horizontal portion of T-shaped plate is 8 meter, 3 plus 2 plus 3 meter. Now this is the vertical portion, this is the vertical portion of the T-shaped plate. 6 meter is the height of the vertical portion of the T-shaped plane and 2 meter is the width of the vertical portion. M2 is the mass of the vertical portion of the plate and M1 is the mass of the horizontal portion of the plate. The T-shaped plate can be assumed as a system of two particles having masses m1 and m2. So this is a system of two particles having masses m1 and m2 where m1 is the mass of the horizontal portion and m2 is the mass of uh, the vertical portion and these two particles have the center of masses, uh, centers of masses uh, at O1 and O2. C will be the center of mass of uh, this system of two particles. Similarly, C will be uh, the center of mass of the T-shaped plate and the point C or the center of mass will exist between the two points O1 and O2. Exist uh, between the two points O1 and O2 uh, that is along the line joining the two centers of mass O1 and O2. And we can assume O as the point, highest point O as the origin distance of the point O1 from the origin O is Y1. Similarly, the distance of the point O2 from the origin O is Y2 and distance of center of mass or distance of the point C from the highest point or the origin O is YCM. According to this numerical, distance of center of mass under bracket Y1 of the horizontal portion of the plate of the T-shaped plate from the highest point or from the origin O is Y1 and Y1 will be equal to Y1 will be equal to 1 meter because uh, the height of uh, the horizontal portion is 2 meter that's why Y1 will be 1 meter. So height of this horizontal portion is 2 meter. That's why the distance y1 will be equal to distance of center of mass y1 of the horizontal portion from the t of the t-shaped plate from the origin is 1 meter because height of the horizontal portion is 2 meter. That's why O1, O1 uh, that means y1 will be 1 meter. Similarly, distance of center of mass O2 of the vertical portion of the plate, vertical portion of the plate from the highest point or from the origin O of the plate will be Y2, will be Y2. Now the height of the horizontal portion of the plate is 2 meter and distance of center of mass O2 of the vertical portion from the lowest point is 3 meter and height of the vertical portion of mass M2 is uh, 6 meter.
so uh, the distance of the center of mass o2 from the highest point or from the origin o will, will be 2 meter plus 3 meter that means the value of y2 will be 5 meter the value of y2 will be 5 meter therefore y2 is equal to 5 meter distance of center of mass o2 of the vertical portion of the plate from the highest point or from the origin o is 5 meter now we have to find ycm that is the distance of center of mass c from the highest point o is ycm and ycm is m1 y1 plus m2 y2 divided by m1 plus m2 assuming this t-shaped plate as a system of two particles having masses m1 and m2 ycm is equal to m1 y1 plus m2 y2 divided by m1 plus m2 uh, now the mass of the horizontal portion the mass of the horizontal portion of the t-shaped plate is m1 which is sigma into a1 where sigma is the surface mass density sigma is the surface mass density of the plate surface mass density of the plate and a1 is the area of the horizontal portion of the plate now the area of the horizontal portion of the plate area of the horizontal portion of the plate a1 is equal to 2 into 8 meter 2 meter is the height of the horizontal portion and uh, width of the horizontal portion or uh, breadth of the horizontal portion is 3 meter plus 2 meter plus 3 meter that is 8 meter that means 16 meter square is the value of a1 and we get m1 as equal to sigma into 16 uh, that is m1 is equal to 16 sigma where 16 meter square is the area of the horizontal portion of the plate and sigma is the surface mass density of the plate similarly the mass of the vertical portion uh, mass of the vertical portion of the t-shaped plate is given by m2 is given by m2 that will be sigma into a2 where a2 will be area of the vertical portion therefore m2 will be equal to sigma into a2 where a2 is the area of the vertical portion which is 2 into 6 so finally we get m2 as equal m2 as equal 12 sigma m2 as equal 12 sigma putting the equations 2 and 3 putting the equations 2 and 3 or putting the values of m1 and m2 in equation 1 we get ycm as equal m1 y1 plus m2 y2 divided by m1 plus m2 therefore ycm is equal 16 sigma y1 16 sigma into 1 plus 12 sigma into 12 sigma into 5 meter divided by 16 sigma plus 12 sigma so what should be the value of ycm what should be the value of distance of center of mass c of the t-shaped plate from the origin ycm will be the distance ycm will be the distance of center of mass c of the t-shaped plate t-shaped plate from the origin from the origin or from the high, uh, highest point o of uh, the plate highest point o of the plate now putting the values we get 16 plus 16 plus 60 into sigma divided by 28 sigma we get 76 divided by 28 therefore ycm will be equal to 2.714 meter ycm will be equal to 2.714 meter which is the distance of center of mass c of the t-shaped plate from the highest point o of the plate ycm is the distance of the point c from the highest point and the value of ycm is 2.714 centimeter 2.714 meter not centimeter